What's going on YouTube? It's MJ and I'm back with another video. In today's reaction, we're reacting to changing the lives. Changing the lives of 600 strangers with Mr. Beast and Beast Philanthropy. And get straight to it. Boy, if you don't get Let's get to the video. 50 million people have limited transportation. Facts. That's almost half the population. Facts, and in facts, even poorer facts, countries facts. around the world, lack of transportation is even higher. A year ago, when we found out about the shortage of sanitary drinking yeah, water, you did that. You did we distributed that. dozens of electric e-bikes to water delivery men yeah. who used to push their heavily loaded bicycles over 10 miles around the city just to make $7 a day. $7 With their new day. bikes, they are now able to do a lot more trips per day, which leads to significantly more income for their families. And after seeing the profound impact it had on the community, we went to our partners at Letcher really, Key Bikes really. to see if they wanted to help us. Seeing how they sponsored 13 of our Peace Land 3 videos, I don't think you'll be shocked to hear that they donated $600,000 worth of electric e bikes. We then asked you guys to nominate a person you knew that was in need of life changing transportation. And after receiving thousands of videos of amazing people in need, we were so excited to start giving them away. This e bike would change Mr. my life. Mr. Beast, such a good nigga, bro. That he making money by giving people money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you see what Mr. Beast be doing? He giving people money. And he gaining money from YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy, bro. And all the sponsors and shit he be doing, that's money too. You feel me? So, all the all the people that he giving money and electric bikes and houses and all that shit too. You feel what I'm saying? All that shit he giving to niggas, bro. Bro, that nigga, that shit going to other people. Like, I mean, the money that he getting from YouTube, all, all that shit that he buying, that shit going to other people. Like, he a real nigga for this shit. Like, for real. And of course it's gonna help out people. Of course it's gonna help out a lot of people. That will help me and my husband so much. We are kicking off this massive giveaway right here in North Carolina, where Darren will give away the first of over six. But you don't want no needy ass, big and ass motherfucker though to like get in your and get in your face, especially if you're doing all this for the uh, for the community. Bye. This is Maria a single mother of two children who works for 14 hours a day washing dishes, only to send the little pay she has back to her children in Guatemala, who she hasn't seen in years. Pues, and on top of her good. long working hours, she still has to walk for miles every single day just to get to and from work. This is the first of hundreds of bikes that we're going to be giving away across the country. And because this is the first one, we're going to surprise Maria with an extra $5,000 in cash. Here, okay, let's go surprise bro. her. We got you a present. <laughs> Maria told us she donates whatever she has left to feed poor kids from her village back home. So on top of the $5,000, we surprised her with an additional $7,000. See? That, that, um, see how they just came back on to, like, <laughs> my ass, my ass had to take a pause for a second, I'm tripping, but you see how I just, you see how they just, uh, you see how this shit just came on back to her, the extra money that she get, or the extra shit that whatever they just said, she get that to, like, starving kids, you feel me, like, bro, that's, that's lit, bro, and they just blessed her with, uh, they just bet so with twelve thousand dollars. They just gave her twelve thousand dollars, bro. Like this, that's dope as hell, bro. So that she can help her village in Guatemala. With this new bike, Maria can easily get to and from work in only ten minutes. Not being able to get to work or to get to school or to get to your medical appointments, it exacerbates the problems that people face and it keeps them trapped in the circumstances that they are in. Thanks. Now, if you thought that was special, we still have 599 more to go. This is gonna get crazy. No way! Yes, it is here. It looks so good. I went super far. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> sure. Now it was time to meet Conrad. Every single day, he walks a total of four hours just to get to work and back. 
I'm gonna take four hours. You know, eighty hours a, a, a week. But with me not having transportation, it's hard for me to even get forty hours a week. I want to own my own business one day, and with me being able to have transportation, it would be easier to get to that goal of owning my own business. Conrad's story is sure. just another example of the dire need for transportation. Oh, what the hell? That nigga said, this oh, what the hell? Three what the hours every single day. Because now I, I won't be standing still. I'll be you know, slowly moving First. forward to the next goal in my life. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we still have 400 more to go. <laughs> Look at this bike. Oh, sick. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Thank you, Mr. Beast. I have no idea how much it means to me. I got my... I just really nigga shit, though. Thank you. This means so much to me. We then met with Amanda and Susan, two incredible women from the Interfaith Refugee Center who have dedicated their entire lives to support <coughs> thousands of refugees and provide them with the necessities they need to live a normal life. They've left their culture, they've left their language, they've left their families, and we see them probably at one of the lowest points of their lives. And despite their best efforts, the lack of transportation makes it incredibly difficult for the refugees to easily integrate into society. They rely on volunteers or staff to get to the places they need to go. Reliable transportation can change the lives of so many of these refugees. So we decided to donate 10 electric e-bikes to the refugee center. These bikes will enable the refugees to move around, get to their jobs, and even help integrating into the communities. We've made it pretty far, but we still have 200 more bikes to give away, which mind you is worth 200 grand. And I'm not really sure why they gave us all these bikes for free. Shout out to electric e-bikes. Let's keep helping people. have actually changed my life. I just want to say thank you. I can go anywhere I want now. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Thank you, Mr. Beast. Thank you, Mr. Beast. That's what happened to Tanya. I appreciate it. I want to thank you all very, very much. And now it was time for the very last recipient. This is Reginald. He has lived at this community center for 12 years helping those in need. My daughters and my grandkids are my inspiration. I don't even know what to good. say, like, good things gonna come he just... Out. And although he is making a positive impact on those around him, he still has to walk one hour Mr. every day to the guy, bro. bus stop to get to work. If I would have any other sort of transportation, it would be like, a bus. <laughs> I just thought about that. Like, how can niggas hate on these? Like, like I'm trying to think. How can niggas hate on these? Like, how, how do you hate on these? Like... <laughs> I'm funny as hell. How do niggas, how do niggas hate on this shit, bro? How do you hate on this? Like you can't hate on this. Like he giving, he giving homeless people uh bikes and transportation, food, all this shit, bro. Ten bands and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how can you hate on this? That's why I ain't even got nothing to say. I don't even have anything to say. Like. I'm, I'm lost for words. I can't say nothing. I can't do nothing but smile and you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Staying active with myself and uh, I want to be active for my grandkids. A reliable form of transport can allow Reginald to spend more time with his family. Wow. wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The extraordinarily generous donation from electric e-bikes has enabled us to give people an opportunity to unleash their full potential with something as simple as transportation. Electric e-bikes time and time again steps up to the plate, asks for very little, and just helps us help as many people as possible. And in this video, they give us $600,000 worth of bikes. If you ever were curious if a brand actually likes helping people and wants to do good, you shouldn't have to wonder that about electric e-bikes. If there ever was a brand you need to support, it's them. Also subscribe, or Darren will cry. Please stop making me cry. Yeah, uh, subscribe or down will cry. How do you hate on it? I don't see how people hate on it. I mean, of course, people ain't just out here saying, Mr. B, you can't hate on it. <laughs> you can't hate on it, bro. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. I appreciate anybody that's clicking on this video. 
anybody that's actually watching this video watch this far. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all.